Okay, I don't know if all this is coming in clear, the video, but I've already been into this lock, but let me tell you the history first, and then we'll get underway. I've got, in my office, I've got a back door and a front door that's got a knob type lock, like this. And I wanted to add a deadbolt key-to-like lock to where all three of them will operate off that one key. And I haven't been able to locate one without a really expensive price. But then I come across this lock here in an old box I had around here. And uh, the key naturally is going to be the wrong, the wrong key. Uh, it's not it's not ground the same but now the key I wanted to match I've already like I said I've already gone into this lock but I've re put some of it back to where I can give my demonstration it's easy to do quick and nasty quick and dirty I think it's quick and dirty yeah so this is the key that I wanted to match I want the tumblers to match this one this key this is the key that come with it. It works for those tumblers in the right places. But I don't need this key. I need this key to where it's key to like, like my other two locks that's on the doors, the front and back door. So to get this off here, if you look right here, there is a pin. First of all, this is like a nut. This right here is like a nut. It turns. But it can't turn. That pin is sticking up in one of those little sprogs there. But it's spring-loaded. The pin is spring-loaded to keep it in there. So what you got to do is to press that spring, to press that, compress that little uh, keeper there down where you can turn this. In order to do that, this may be on there kind of tight, it was earlier. So I clamped it off with these, working using like a wrench. Then I set this straight down like that. I didn't want to take it all off the keys and everything. Like I said, quick and dirty. So now I've got, oh, I got to get under the, uh, So I gotta push this pin down, take a paper clip and bend it for a tool. And uh, push this pin down, and then rotate this nut here, counterclockwise, yeah, to where it would turn. And you may have to let go of that pin, and then you'll look for it again here in a minute. I'm just pushing that plate down. There's a black plate under there. And rotating the nuts. See, I'm getting more threads here. Just nuts coming off. You're not going to get that barrel out of there until this nut comes off. Okay. Now, take it off slow. Because like I said, this pin here is spring-loaded. It's got a pointy end. That's the pointy end that comes, sticks out. I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to release here. Now, the, the tumblers are already out of there. Here's the tumblers and the springs. I did that earlier. But we're going to go back with them. You're going to get a chance to see that, going back with them. Getting them out is not much of a problem. Except up here at the top, you've got 10 pins. You've got the lower pins and the upper pins, which divide at the breaking point of where the barrel turns. But then you've got the springs that's going to be on top of that that gives tension to keep them down. And then you've got this little cover plate here that goes on top. 
and it clips into place. But what I did is just use the knife and I just slightly, I didn't want to bend it, and I got to go on both sides. Just slightly pop that off carefully. Okay, dead battery. Um, where's we at? Yeah, this little plate up here. When you first release those little uh, places where it's hooked on there, put a finger on top to keep those springs from jumping out because they'll land somewhere in the room. Then you have to tear another lock apart to get some springs. And the springs are already out of here. Like I said, I've done been into this, tore it apart, just made discovery, and now I want to share it with you. Okay, now I've got the key that I want inserted. Okay, we're going back with it. And I'm going to push it against the desk here. Wait, I got to pull that out. I got to pull that barrel out. I'm not thinking right. Here we go. Pull the barrel out. And uh, now with the key in place, as you can see, the cuts are a lot different than the key that come with it. But this is the key I want key to like to this. Keep an eye on that pin. Don't let that pin. There's a spring under there. And if I pull the pin out, the spring may fall out. May be okay too. I don't know. Okay. Now I got it in place. I want to tape this to the barrel where it don't move. Okay, now I got to go through here and find the closest pins that will work in here. And I've already been through this, so I know there's a lot of them that's not. But there's one short one here that come pretty close We're back here in the back. This has got five pins. That's yeah, pretty close. I think it, that'll do. I think it'll turn with that one. Now the other ones here, how much this is on camera, now the other ones here, are going to be long, got to make sure that key's pushed all the way in. These are the five that I'm working with. I got two in place. As you can see, it's already sticking above. And these others are going to stick above too because I've already been in there. But now look on the pin and you'll see one side is more beveled. You want that down. That way the key, when it goes, inserts the key, it will slide into place better. Put the bevel in down. Doubled in down. Okay. Now what I got to do with the key held in place, I got to take a file and file these down to where they're all level. That's a lot of grinding. So let me do let me do all this here, and I will come back to you. I gotta grind them down. There's gonna be a lot of dust down there. Okay, as I'm doing this, I'm doing it under a magnifying glass here. That way I can watch closer what I'm doing. And uh, that's how much dust I've taken off. Well, not how much dust. That's how much dust I have from filing these down. The whole time, make sure that that key is pushed all the way in, real good. And uh, 
do long strokes as you've seen earlier now when you get down to the the end of it where they're almost level do short strokes and be careful these will one of them can just jump up and fall over as it vibrates it'll vibrate out of there and just put it back in the same hole it come out of and then continue on this is probably taking me maybe I don't know five minutes four minutes somewhere in there I then go back and just kind of lean here to try to polish off make sure it key stays in any kind of little burrs because you don't want it hanging up as your barrel is trying to turn make it hard to unlock keep checking make sure it keys all the way in and when you get down to the barrel you want to stop I don't know if you can see that let me see if you can see it through the magnifying glass I don't know see that how straight and level they are that way it'll turn when it goes in there now we're going to reassemble put it back together and uh, try it out okay first thing we got to do here is slide it back in this Make sure it's all the way in I gotta get some stuff here to work with. Now that little spring and that little pin did come out. It vibrated out. So the first thing I gotta do is get that little spring back in there. Goes in that hole right. Right there. Okay, now I gotta get the little pin in there. And make sure to put the pointy end here out. Put your finger over it, you don't want it to pop, jump across the room. Okay, now we gotta put the end back on. Now the end here, it's got a hole in one of these little black plates there. I don't know if I can... It ain't quite a hole, it's just a little notch there. See it right there? And that's where that pin goes through. And then the nut goes back on there. Now in order to get that nut Tighten back on there. I've got to uh, push down that pin here. And start turning. It's tightening. Gap here is getting more narrow. Then go back and push the pin down again. Spin some more. got to find that pin. We need that pin to come up. So slide this little black thing here around. There it is. I see it right there. There's the pin right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that pin is right, right there. I'm going to loosen the nut just enough for it to pop up. Got to hold the key. Okay. It just popped up into place right there. There it is. 
All right, so this is safely back in there, but I need to rotate it. Let me check. I got to make sure I've got it in the up position, the key. I got to look careful. Yes, the key is in the upper position. That's where I need it. And I need it facing this way, tumblers. Now I've got to try to just put these other tumblers back in there, try to make them do. This is very tedious, tedious, tedious. Doesn't really matter where they go, as long as they can push against that spring. Now you can buy tumblers. It'd be more defiant with this. Now there's one tumbler here really tall. I don't know if I can get a spring down in there with that. So I may have to remove that and move them tumblers around a little bit. Because there's one here that's a little tall. Right here. Now I'm going to remove the key and just look and see which one is at the lowest. Okay, if you look right here, you'll see that the, you got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And it looks like that one could be a short one, a little longer. The longest one could go right there, the third one down. Key back in there. That's the third one down. That's the longest one. And it's still really too long. I need a short tumbler there. And that was the lowest part on the key. Right here for a long tumbler. I may have to file that one down. So I'm going to push, put my fingers over the other holes and drop that one long tumbler out. That one needs to be cut in half. We need to go down about half. So let me do that. I'm going to file this one down half and then come back to you and we'll put the springs and stuff in it. Okay, here's where I'm at. I use the hemostats to hold it and just use my finger for a guide here and just rub the file up against my finger and file this down. So now it's about half the length. Put my fingers on here where it won't jump. Now you want to put the flat part up when you put it in here. See, it was the third one down. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure the key is in there correct. Yep, key's up. Insert the key back. Okay, now it's time to get them little springs back in there. go for the first one. <laughs> Those springs are copper and it's magnetized to this uh, hemostats. Look at that. Look at that, and that's copper. And the hemostats are probably stainless steel. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, I got all five of them back in there. And now this little thing here. Now with me prying it with the knife, it's widened just a little bit. So I'm going to squish that just a little bit here. All right, now I gotta go back down on here and until it clips into place. Hear it? Okay. Now to remove the key, got tape there stuck in it. Put the key back in, all the way, and the tumbler turns. Now you take the O key. Where's the O key? Oh, there it is. The original key, as you know, it's not going to work. But just to show you that the tumblers are lining up. And that's it. See, it won't turn. But you take the key that you want a key to like. Put it in the keyway. And the tumbler turns. Hey guys, that's it. That's how you key a lock, a lock using the same tumblers. And a little bit of uh, graphite will help this slide a little easier too. And it's probably got some residue from the brass down in there. So a good cleaning and some graphite would help it move a little easier. So that's it. Key to light. Talk to you later. Tell them where you heard about it. See you later, YouTube. Bye. You in the video are giving us a like or subscribing. It makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. Don't you agree?